So, such is the Spirit of God. I don't spend a lot of time on TikTok, but um, such is the Spirit of God. He always, at the specific right time, confirms something with us or gives us exactly what we need at the right time, right? Anyone who is in relationship with Jesus Christ or has experienced Him in any kind of way knows that at some point, he has spoken to you in some kind of way, right? It just, the timing is perfect. You can recognize that right when you need him in Jesus' name. Whether we were at a point in our life where we were faithful to him or unfaithful, he was always there at the right time. Whether it was a harsh chastisement or it was showering us with his love and his joy and his peace and his mercy and we recognized that it made us weep made us want to serve for more um you know both are necessary you know for the sons and daughters of god the chastisement and the, the overflow of his joy and his peace and his love as well and i guess what i mean to say that about that is um this rapture video came across and i don't want to I don't want to overstate what I'm trying to say. I just want to very simply say that I absolutely resonate with the video that I'm posting along with this video. I do not believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. I believe there are many Christians that just want to escape before bad things come. And they don't really want to follow Jesus Christ and pick up their cross. Um, the Bible says, what man before he builds a house does not count the cost? And if you're going to follow Jesus, it is going to cost you everything. And when you really start to get some revelations, I'm starting to see that within my own family. And my discernment tells me that, you know, most of the stuff that I say won't be received. I'm looked at like I'm crazy. When I said I hear from God, I was told, uh, oh, it might be your car accident or, you know, just there's a lot of things. I'm told often that I'm a false prophet. Um, that I, that my own professing Christian family doesn't believe I'm hearing from him. Some of them, at least, have said that directly to me. They've said, well, you, you think you might be hearing from God. You know, just so many mocking things. Uh, the Bible actually says that they have a form of godliness, denying the power thereof from such turn away. Now, that being said, we do need to have some grace and pray that their eyes be opened, whoever they are. In Jesus' name, because it's only a Holy Spirit that can show them. But some people just don't have faith like they say they have faith. And they don't actually believe that the signs and wonders, tongues, healing, um, the casting out of demons, things like that. They don't actually believe that that stuff is still for today. Um, and that it was only for the disciples of old. And they think that you're being prideful when you speak the truth about what God showed you and they'll literally call you prideful um they'll they'll mock your gifts they'll mock your calling and they'll think you're being prideful um so anyway what man doesn't count the cost you know before he builds the house before he follows jesus that's going to come with persecution and if i may remind you of the parable of the sower in jesus name um, there'll be people that fall away. Everybody's wondering what the great falling away is. Well, sometimes God uses the same terminology and the same language. You know what I'm saying? Um, so in the parable of the sower, in Jesus' mighty name, he's saying there'll be people that fall away when persecution comes. Now we need to pay attention when God says something over and over again in Jesus' name. Um, and right there, he's saying many will fall away at the persecution. There's so many people that believe in the pre-tribulation pre rapture because they've been lied to by false preachers. They have been taught preachings that are leaning on their own understanding. If you look at the scriptures pretty clearly and watch this video, an exegesis of the scriptures is given. You've got to take it at face value, literally. The disciples go to Jesus Christ and ask him, when are these things going to be? And we literally see immediately after the tribulation, after these things, the Son of Man will come. The last trumpet, not the first trumpet, after the last 
trumpet, y'all. People are dying for their faith overseas. Y'all don't know? They're being burned, tortured, everything else. Of course, God is going to protect us. This isn't a fear-mongering message. This is a truth message. Don't be like one of those five foolish virgins in Matthew 25. Sometimes we need these kind of messages, man. The truth will set you free. It's nothing to fear. If you have any fear, tell it to leave. You have not been given the spirit of fear, but the power of love and a sound mind. We're commanded not to fear. If you're speaking those things and it's still in your life, you might need to ask the Holy Ghost to fill you with His Spirit. Check your heart to see if there's any unforgiveness in there and truly get born again, get saved. The demons know about Jesus too, but they're not following Him. We need to actually follow Jesus Christ. Give up everything in the world. Give up our secular music. Give up the secular movies. Ask God to take anything out of our lives that's not pleasing to Him. If we're not willing to do that, we're not worthy of the call. Now, no one's worthy of receiving forgiveness. I'm not saying that anybody's worthy in that sense. But Jesus Christ said himself, even to the guy that wanted to bury his dad before he followed Jesus, he said, hold on, Jesus, let me bury my dad first. Jesus said, let the dead bury the, oh, their dead. Follow me. Anyone who's not willing to give up family, anyone, anyone who's concerned about what others are going to, Think about them for speaking the truth. Ephesians 6, the belt of truth. Anybody that's willing to take the belt of truth off because they're afraid of what people are, 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 are going to think of them. Anyone who seeks it, it, to save his life will lose it, man. Like I could go on and on with the scriptures, man, because the word of God is in me and it speaks forth out of my mouth. This is a message of truth, not a message of fear. God said, I'll give you a mouth that no one can gainsay, that your enemies cannot gainsay, because this is the word of God speaking out of my mouth. So for those that don't like the presentation, the truth is speaking out of my mouth. I love you. I'm trying to get you prepared. I am called to wake you up. Wake up. Persecution will come eventually to this country you need to be ready it was promised for the pharisees no i'm not speaking death i'm telling you what's coming i said this six years ago and everybody mocked me and i'll keep saying it because i'm trying to get you ready Wake up. Give up the sins. Give them up. No more on the fence. As I'll always say, I believe in deliverance and the casting out of demons. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've experienced it for myself. Sometimes we can't get rid of sin because we need to be delivered from the unclean spirits. They have rooted themselves in us because we've done the sins so many times. The devil has a legal right to attach itself to you in that regard. I'm speaking from experience, and this is all backed up by the Word of God. This is serious. Many will fall away when the persecution comes. Because they're not really all in for Jesus. They're not willing to let go of anything, anything that God wants them to let go of. I love you, so I'm telling you the truth. In Jesus' mighty name, we must be ready. Prepare your hearts. In Jesus' name.